my YouTube. So today I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous peacock necklace. And that's pretty. Okay, so I got this glitterized peacock feather from my floral section. So you need, you don't have to use a peacock, but you know, pick something big and um, pretty, preferably bling, to put the centerpiece. I bought a pre-cut felt shape. It's for those dangle necklaces. I think it's going to be cute. Now that comes with ribbon. Pretty awesome. I have gemstones that match the center part. Also picked out of my bin these colors. They kind of match. We also have some more blingy ones. Um, this is actually two projects in one. No, oh, you also need a extra hair clip. Just a regular plain barrette finding that you buy in your finding section of the jewelry area. And glue gun. Yeah, I blinged my glue gun. And optional. E6000. And let's go. Okay. So you're going to take your pre cut. Oops. Your pre cut felt shape. Boom. Turn it towards you so you can see what you know, you're cutting. Now this is our feather. Now we could just make a loop right here and probably hang it on a chain, but you know. It's going to be like really, really long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate some of the pieces at the bottom. Mm, you know, separate it like right there. As you can see, it'll look like this. I'm going to take my scissors. Okay, I'll get it later. So now you have two pieces. You have this. What's the matter? What are you doing, Mom? And I have this. I'm making a YouTube video, sweetheart. And we have this. Now, I don't want this to go to waste. So what I'm going to do... Oh, pliers. I totally forgot to tell you guys that, but you can use pliers. I'm going to cut right here where the stem begins. Cut that off. So now you look with this and this. Okay, again, this has nothing to do with the project. This is the other project. Okay, you're going to take your feather, and mine has wire going through it. So I'm gonna bend it a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna take my clip. E6000. I'm going to play some along the um barrette excuse me you guys i'm just so like sleepy <laughs> oops whatever so you have your e6000 on your barrette and you're gonna glue it to whatever side you want Of your feather. You want to make sure you line it up in the center. Because that way you won't be able to tell that it has a clip. You see what I'm saying? Woohoo! I'm 
okay so I want to be able to keep this in place so I don't have to hold it I'm gonna put my clothes pin and clamp the two together but when you finish you have a cute little headpiece to put on the side I think it's so adorable and yeah so we didn't waste any of this okay now to the actual project you have your felt piece right here I want this to be the centerpiece of my necklace right here so I take my glue gun I'm going to glue down the center. Oops. This is hot, so I'm going to take my scissors and press it down. Uh oh, I have glue strings. No! Don't you hate when you have glue strings? <laughs> so, this is what we have. Now, as you can tell by what I'm looking at, it just looks empty. Different shades of blue. And it's big. Oh, yeah. Big bling. And you're just going to look at them. See how they fit on your necklace. I really do need to get a tripod. <laughs> gonna go along the whole thing and just place it randomly so far it's what I have So now on this side, I'm going to want to use some more blue. I need more glue. So this is what we have, and this will be the necklace, which, as you can see, is super cute. Now I have the ribbon. I'm going to flip over my um, necklace. I'm going to take the two ends. Even them out. You're going to want to glue that. And I'm going to take the ribbon. Add a little bit more glue. If you have to twist your ribbon. 
to make it stay behind. That's not a problem because, again, it's behind the necklace. And once people see the front of your necklace, they're not even going to care what the back of it looks like. So I'm going to twist it again. Oh, hot. I got stuck. <laughs> okay. So now I just want to secure and make sure that it stays so again. Okay, let me show you what it looks like before. Hi, YouTube. So. This is what it looks like with a blue dress. I really like it. Um, and again, if you want to, oops, <laughs> sorry guys. Me and the camera are not getting along. If you want to take your necklace you can um, secure the ends again to the back of the felt using some E6000 which I plan on doing right here in the corners. I don't know, it just makes me feel more comfortable. Like I wouldn't want my heavy neck piece to fall off. So yeah, that's just a suggestion. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Have fun crafting.